First of all, uh, there should be something about uh, Jeffrey Chaucer, who he was. Jeffrey Chaucer made uh, an enormous mark on the language and literature of England, writing in an age when French was widely spoken in educated circles. Chaucer was among the first writers to show that uh, English could be a respectable literary language. Today, his work is considered a cornerstone of English literature. Chaucer was born sometimes between 1340 and 1343, probably in London, in an age when expanding commerce was uh, helping to bring about growth in villages and cities. His family, uh, though not Nobel, was uh, well off, and his parents were able to place him in the household of the wife of Prince Lionel, a son of King Edward III, where he served as an attendant. And you know, such a, a position was a vital means of advancement. The young Chaucer learned the customs of upper class life and uh, came into contact with influential people. It may have been uh, during this period that Chaucer met Lionel's younger brother, John of Corn, who would uh, become Chaucer's lifelong patron and a leading political figure of the day. And uh, uh, there is a, uh, one thing more, he got, he earned an uncommon honor. When he died in 1400, Chaucer was accorded a rare honor for a commoner. That is burial in London's Westminster Abbey. In 1556, an admirer erected an elaborate marble monument to his memory this was the beginning of uh, the abbey's famous poets corner where many of uh, England's uh, most distinguished writers uh, have since been buried. And uh, uh, here the topic under discussion is uh, his prologue to the Canterbury Tales. What is in the Canterbury Tales? Canterbury Tales me hai kya? Is me hum kya padte Isme Hamare Paas different characters. He has brought uh, forth different characters belonging to different uh, classes of life of his age. So uh, one thing is uh, necessary to mention here that creating a great character requires a sharp eye for detail, a keen understanding of people and a brilliant imagination. All of which Chaucer possessed. Chaucer populated the Canterbury Tales with a colorful cast of characters whose virtues and flaws ring true even today, hundreds of years later. Uh, this is uh, Chaucer's, uh, you can say, art. He has brought before us different characters belonging to different classes of his age. Let's uh, see them and discuss them one by one. The first character that appears in the uh, prologue to the Canterbury Tales is the knight. Who is knight? Iske mutallak ab different details hain jo hum yahan pe discuss karenge. Jahan tak social status ka taaluk hai to ruling class iska social status hai. Highest among the pilgrims Jitni bhi company Chaucer ke saath move kar rahi hai, unme sabse highest rank or social status mein ruling class mein jo banda taaluk karta hai, wo knight hai. Dress iska kaisa hai? He possessed fine horses, but was not gaily dressed. Wore a dark, first and tunic, coarse cloth that had armor stains. Physical characteristics, बहुत जरूरी हैं जानने इसके इसी तरह हम तमाम कैरेक्टर्स के सोशल स्टेटस ड्रेस फिजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स और पर्सनालिटी ट्रेड्स जो हैं 
ये इस टॉपिक में कवर करें तो फिजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स में उसके है कि ही स्ट्रॉन्ग बिकॉज ही हैज एंड्यूर्ड मेरी बैटल्स ही इज मिडल एज बिकॉज ही हैज अ ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड सन द स्केल so far as his personality trait is concerned the wise modest distinguished chivalrous truthful honorable generous courteous brave lover uh, loves action and adventure believes in the ideals of chivalry he must be an excellent fighter to have survived so many battles all over europe now what is his or uh, her reason in going on this pilgrimage ab wo ja raha hai is pilgrimage pe to kyun ja raha hai uski reason kya hai to reason quite clear hai to give thanks to god to do his pilgrimage and render thanks does chaucer approve of this character or does he indicate that he had failed his faith yes chaucer approves this character ever honor for his noble graces what faults might this character have according to chaucer none he is the ideal of chivalry honor and bravery the sovereign value in all eyes a true perfect gentle knight he is to is tarah se hum unke jo characters usne reveal kiye hain unke tamam tar traits jo hain wo hum discuss karenge jaisa ke फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रेस देन उनकी जो फिजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स हैं वो हम देखेंगे आफ्टरवर्ड्स उनकी पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेट्स जो हैं वो हम वन बाय वन सभी के देखेंगे तो ये जो नाइट है इसकी ये तमाम तर क्वालिटीज हैं जो यहाँ पे बयान की गई हैं जो चौसर ने बयान किया है अब अगर इस कैरेक्टर के हवाले से आपसे सवाल पूछा जाए कि ये किस तरह का कैरेक्टर है तो उसमें ये तमाम तर क्वालिटीज आ जाएंगी जितनी सारी यहाँ पर बयान की गई हैं तो जहां तक ताल्लुक है इसके फ्लॉज का तो इसमें फ्लॉज नहीं है लेकिन ह्यूमरेस टच इसमें थोड़ा आपको मिलेगा वी विल डिस्कस इट ऑनवर्ड इन अनदर टॉपिक द सेकंड कैरेक्टर इज द स्केयर सोशल स्टेटस रूलिंग क्लास द सन ऑफ द नाइट वी हैव ऑलरेडी मैं इसका जो बेटा है वो ट्वेंटी इयर्स ये देखें दस केयर ठीक है ही हैज अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड सन दस केयर स्केयर कौन है फिर ही इज द सन ऑफ द नाइट ड्रेस इसका देखें दूसरे नंबर पे एज यूजल जैसा कि हमने पिछले कैरेक्टर को देखा है ड्रेस इसका है एम्ब्रॉयडर्ड लाइक अ मीटो ब्राइट एक्सेट्रा ड्रेस इन रेड एंड व्हाइट हिज गाउन वॉज शॉर्ट स्लीव लॉन्ग एंड व्हाइट फिजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स का जहां तक ताल्लुक है तो करली हेयर अबाउट ट्वेंटी इयर्स ओल्ड एवरेज हाइट स्ट्रॉन्ग फिजिकली फिट सिंग्स एंड प्लेस द फ्लूट लाइक्स पोइट्री जस्टिंग हॉर्स राइडिंग डांसिंग पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेट्स ही फॉर्ट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ अ लेडी एंड डिड वेल क्विकली लवर रेस्पेक्टफुल टू हिज फादर हार्ड वर्किंग एंड विलिंग टू टेक रिस्क so far as questions are concerned what is his or her reason in going on this pilgrimage this is the same question as was uh, here first of all reason of going theek okay? hai maybe out of respect for his uh, for his father for his father not this father okay ye misspell hua hai his father right does chaucer approve of this character or does he indicate that he had failed his uh, faith yes he has failed chaucer finds different uh, faults in him and uh, the fault a major fault that is found in this character is that he is unlike his father he has uh, not uh, got all those qualities that his father has or his father wants or yearns what faults might this character have according to chaucer uh, to isme character mein faults to nahi hai but he has failed in his cause the third character that we see in the prologue is the human social status is ka dekhiye peasant hai uh farmer class as servant who accompanies the knight and the skier this character accompanies 
both the son and the father means the knight and his son the scare dress is ka dekhiye coat and hood of green with peacock feather arrows at his uh, belt held a bow sword and dagger also a hunting horn wore saucy bracelets as a shield guard before the bow and the sword along with uh, saint christopher's medal physical characteristics ki agar baat karte hain to head like a nut and brown faced strong new the whole of woodcraft up and down personality the artist rendition on page 100 suggests uh, the room, uh, humans is ready for any occurrence uh, in the forest such as uh, hunting game or defense against a uh, highwayman attack he looks sturdy and serious and like robert hood तो ये जो जहां तक ये पेज का जो ताल्लुक है तो ये बुक जो हम पढ़ते हैं उसमें यूमेन को अगर देखें तो आप देखिएगा कि ही इज ऑलवेज रेडी वी कैन से के द ह्यूमेन यहाँ इसको अगर हम निकाल भी दें यहाँ से तो ये बात क्लियर हो जाएगी द ह्यूमेन इज रेडी फॉर एनी अकेरेंस इन द फॉरेस्ट ही इज अ ब्रेफ द क्वेश्चन दैट फॉलो reason for going he is accompanying the knight and the scare we have already mentioned does just an approve of this character does he indicate that he had failed in sweat yes he was a proper forester i guess ye uske words the chaucer ke what faults might this character have according to chaucer none suggested this is uh, the next character the prioress so far as uh, the social status is concerned she uh, she belongs to clergy at least just at least justical character hai social status iska clergy wealthy hai she is a nun dress iska dekhiye wheel casual cloak jewelry wear breast at that indicates wealth and uh, worldliness physical characteristics uh, not underground uh, elegant nose gray eyes small red mouth white forehead personality traits is ke dekhe to simple and coy means shy neat clean clingy helpless charitable sympathetic sentimental tender hearted too much so to so, reason for going on this pilgrimage she is a nun so a spiritual trip seems likely seems likely does your sir approves of this character or does he indicates that he had failed uh, he or she had failed in his or her faith he suggests that uh, her daintiness is too extreme her upper lip so clean being reduced to tears when seeing a mouse in a trap what faults might this character have according to chaucer she is too delicate this is uh, her major fault she, the, uh, she is too डेलीकेट ये इसका मेजर फॉल्ट है देन कम्स द मॉन्क सोशल स्टेटस इसका ही ऑल्सो बिलोंग्स टू क्लर्जी क्लास ड्रेस इज कम वेल्थिंग रोब गोल्ड ब्रोश फिजिकल कैक्टरिस्टिक्स में बाल्ट और फैट पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेट्स हंटर हैज ग्रे हूंस एंड हंटिंग शूज विद स्पर्स पर्सनेबल he likes to eat reason for going he is a priest but his mission is probably more self indulgent than spiritual chaucer uh, has presented this character and he has criticized his uh, attitude because the monks or the priors uh, or all the clergy were uh, then so corrupt chaucer's age is full of corruption so far as ecclesiastical class is concerned so far as uh, clergy is concerned so far as the church is concerned so you know church uh, is not expected to be corrupt church is not expected to be uh, holding wealth or getting wealth or to be wealthy church people are not expected there are uh, no more expectations like corruption attached to these people to ye yahan pe isme faults jo hain wo bhi aapko nazar aa rahe hain 
तो फॉल्स कौन से हैं कि इंस्टेड ऑफ डिवोटिंग हिज लाइफ टू वर्क एंड प्रेयर लाइक मोस्ट मार्क्स ऑफ द मिडिल एज ही स्पेंड्स हिज टाइम हंटिंग एंड ईटिंग दिस इज हिज फॉल्ट ही स्पेंड्स मोस्ट ऑफ हिज टाइम इन हंटिंग एंड ईटिंग इंस्टेड ऑफ चर्च द नेक्स्ट कैरेक्टर इज द फ्रायर social status clergy dress had a long uh, hanging hood white thick neck rich cap like a pope physical characteristics he sang well and played the hardy gurdy string uh, instruments and the harp personality traits ka jahan tak taluk hai iske to wo hai ki glib with canned phrases and well uh, turned speech he is very persuasive at uh, talking to men and uh, wealthy land owners into giving him money in exchange for listening to confessions and easy man in finance giving what is the reason behind her going uh, his uh, going on pilgrimage he is a priest but his intentions are dishonest to make money of selling blessings so so far as uh, uh, does just a proof of this character or does he indicate that he had failed uh, his faith no chaucer doesn't approve this character chaucer is criticizing the friar and religious figures like him who are unscrupulous and take advantage of their religious position what fault might this character have according to chaucer instead of remaining tied to one monastery this friar goes from one wealthy land owner to another accepting bribes in exchange uh, for absolution then comes <coughs> the merchant सोशल स्टेटस इसका क्या है पार्ट ऑफ वेल्थी ट्रेड क्लास ऑफ फॉर ट्रेडर्स एंड क्लॉथ ड्रेस इसका मोटले मींस मल्टी कलर ड्रेस वो फ्लैमिश बीवर हैट डेंटली बकल बूट्स और फिजिकल कैटिस्ट में इसके आएगा फॉकिंग बियर स्ट्रेटली नोबेल इन अपियरेंस हाई ऑन इज हॉर्स ही सेट यू नो or he is sitting on the horse high he is sitting high on the horse so what is the reason for going on pilgrimage perhaps he hopes to sell some of his furs and cloths here this character is a you know a businessman he is going on a pilgrimage and he has uh, attached his uh, expectations with the other pilgrims uh, that uh, they would be attracted towards his dress and he would be able to sell his things furs and cloths etc whatever he has to jahan tak approval ka taluk hai to he doesn't even know his name this man doesn't even know his uh, name to what fault might this character have according to chaucer he supposed to a uh, part of the wealthy class but he is uh, actually in debt chaucer is not aware of uh, this man's name who he is but he is a merchant so he has uh, uh, portrayed this character wonderfully and so artistically we will discuss it onward uh, in another lecture when there would be a discussion on uh, chaucer's art of characterization his humor irony satire and all the other things so the topic today is just to have glimpses of different characters that we have to go through and that we have to read and that will uh, pass before eyes that pass before eyes we have already uh, learned all these things but uh, something is uh, uh, here for the sake of having a few things that are most important social status is ka uh, oxford clerk तो इसके स्टेटस का अगर हम जिक्र करें तो वो मिडिल क्लास स्टूडेंट ऑफ फिलोसफी है ड्रेस इसका है थ्रेड ऑन हिस ओवरकोट वाज वेयर हिज क्लाथ्स आर रैग्स फिजिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स में स्लेंडर स्लिम एंड स्लेंडर हॉलो लुक और सॉपर स्टेट सीरियस मैन है पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेस में है कस्टूडियस रीड ऑन लॉर्ड्स एंड ऑल इज मेरी ऑन बुक्स नॉट सोशल थिंग्स और एनी एल्स reason for going there is uh, he seeks morality and virtue the thought of moral virtue filled his speech does chaucer approve uh, 
of this character or does he indicate that he had failed his faith? Maybe Chaucer is just trying to say that uh, studious uh, types retreated from society. What faults might this character have according to Chaucer? Whatever money he gets from friends, he spends on books and he doesn't have a job, but he might become a teacher. This is his fault that Chaucer has mentioned in his uh, prologue to the Canterbury Tales. Then comes the man of law. Social status is ka, uh, agar dekhen, to wo hai middle class lawyer appointed to the, uh, by the king. Dress is ka hai, homely party colored coat, pin strip belt, physical characteristics may not stated, see personality traits, or personality traits may agar hum dekhte hai, to uh, ye dekhi, wise, cautious, accurate, knowledgeable in all uh, laws. This is his personality trait. Okay. Next one, questions are the same. Reason for going to uphold justice or approval on the part of the writer. Yes, everybody respected him, a man of reverence. He is a man of reverence. So, false ki agar baat kare, to Chaucer has not suggested any type of fault attached to that person. The next uh, character that appears in the book is the Franklin. Social status is kaha, middle class man of layer. Dress is kaha, had a dagger and a white purse. Physical characteristics and white beard. Personality traits may confident, cheerful, look for player. When there is white beard, you know it uh, also brings some kind of satisfaction and uh, confidence in characters after having spent a lot of and uh, many years of life. Personality traits, confident. So reason for going to enjoy himself. And uh, the next one, approval on the part of the writer. He liked good food, good wine. He kept a buffet of uh, food ready to eat all day. False, he was lucky and didn't serve a bellman, so he was a free man. So then there are different characters, the tradesmen. These are uh, different tradesmen. Okay. For example, is me jo amare paas hai, tradesmen wo kaun kaun se hai? Carpenter, haberdasher, dyer, carpenter or weaver. These belong to trade class, working class. So group of here as a unit. These are in a group, group of trade class. Dress stylishly uh, dressed hai. Their gear was trim and fresh, knives uh, uh, wrought with purest silver. Physical characteristics may proud men who represented their guilt, uh, their group of craftsmen. They are the new emerging middle class. Personality traits, uh, in ke agar hum discuss kare, to personality traits means ke aada hai, they seem like worthy uh, members of a legislative uh, body. And uh, one thing is uh, necessary to be mentioned here, that working class during Chaucer's time was uh, uh, progressing fast. They were getting wealth, they were working hard, and uh, they were coming up. Question number one, reason to represent the group of up upcoming craftsmen. And uh, so far as uh, approval on the part of Chaucer is concerned, they are the new middle class. What faults might these characters uh, have according to Chaucer? Their wives are eager for their husbands to run for office so they can move up the social ladder. Then there is another character. He is the cook. Social status is a great class cook. Hai, dress and known has made. Physical characteristics ke, uh, hai, ke sore on leg. So this is very uh, ironic appearance of this cook that he has sore on his legs and he is cooking food for the people. So he is a disease. He is a disease. He is a disease. He is a disease. Personality traits and servant to craftsmen, good cook, good sense of trait. Servant to craftsmen, this is the thing, you know, no other uh, character has uh, their uh, own cook. These five people, these five people have their own cook. 
So reason for going to cook for the group of upcoming craftsmen and uh, approval, he feels sorry for him. And then there is uh, uh, the fault has a sore on his lap. His tongue is cancerous. एक फोड़ा जिसको कहते हैं वो है देन देर इज अ शिपमैन और स्किपर सोशल स्टेटस इसका है तो प्रेजेंट क्लास है वेटरन सेलर है और ड्रेस वुलन गोन डेट्रीच इज नी डैगर हैंगिंग फ्रॉम इज नेक फिजिकल कैटेसिक्स एंड टेन पेरेड है और पर्सनालिटी ड्रेस में रास्कल हु हैज हु ही स्टील्स वाइन ही इज हार्डी ही इज अ Skilled navigator, but ruthless with the enemies, able to withstand hardship. Careful planner, what is his reason for going on pilgrimage? He is well travelled, so he perhaps uh, he wants to continue his travels. He is well travelled, so he perhaps wants to continue his travels. Does your sir uh, approve of this character? Or does he indicate that he had failed his uh, faith? तो ये नहीं है यहाँ से हम मेंशन कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर इसके ही स्टील्स वाइन तो स्टीलर जो है वो यहाँ से हम अंदाजा लगा सकते हैं कि एक स्टीलर जो है हाउ कैन चौसर अप्रूव सच अ कैरेक्टर हाउ कैन ही बी अप्रिशिएटेड ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ द राइटर तो नेक्स्ट है इसके बाद हमारे पास द डॉक्टर You know, doctoring is an art. So doctors are middle class people, dressed in their blotted garments, lashed with uh, bluish grey, worn with uh, taffeta silk. Have physical characteristics in their no personality traits. Me, we will see them. Okay. So these are his physical traits. We will see them. ये देखेंगे वेल स्पोकन एक्सलेंट नॉलेज ऑफ मिडिल एजेस मेडिकल ट्रिक्स एंड रेमेडीज बेस्ड मोर ऑन मेडिकल प्रैक्टिसेस लाइक ब्लड लेटर लेटिंग वेल कनेक्टेड टू लोकल पैथोलॉजीज हु प्रॉफिटेड लाइक द डॉक्टर द डॉक्टर्स वर आल्सो डूइंग गुड बिजनेस ड्यूरिंग द चासस टाइम एंड द डॉक्टर इज गेटिंग मच मोर मनी इन चासस एज तो रीजन फॉर गोइंग मे बी टू मेक मनी इन केस समवन गेट्स सिक maybe there is no surety that he is uh, purely going for the sake of a uh, virtuous act or he is well attached to uh, his religion there is uh, no deep attachment with the religion so far as the character of this doctor is concerned uh, mentioned on the part of chaucer so does chaucer approve uh, this character or he does uh, Does he indicate that he had failed his faith? He didn't read the Bible very much, although physical, physically healthy, the doctor is unhealthy in spirit. So this is what Chaucer is of the opinion: that although physically healthy, the doctor is unhealthy in spirit. He is no more a spiritual character. Then comes another character, the wife of God, social status, middle class, uh, seamstress. तो ड्रेस इसका है करचीव फाइनली बोवन रेड हॉर्स न्यू शूज फिजिकल क्रेटिस का जहां तक ताल्लुक है तो उसमें सब डेफ रेड फेस बट हैंडसम गैट लार्ज शिप्स पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेट्स बोल्ड आर्ग्यूमेंटेटिव वेल ट्रेवल्ड प्रोफेशनल बाइक वेरी सोशल वट इज हिज और हर रीजन इन Going on this pilgrimage, maybe to meet another husband. This is a uh, a character that has been criticized bitterly by Chaucer. Does Chaucer approve this uh, character, or does he indicate that uh, she has uh, uh, failed in her faith? A worthy woman, a worthy woman. But faults. She was married five times. The parson is the next character. He also belongs to clergy. He also belongs to clergy, the church, ecclesiastical character. है ये और इसके यहाँ तक social, physical characteristics का ताल्लुक है तो इसमें इसके personality traits जो हैं वो हमें बता रहे हैं कि holy, virtuous, hardworking churchman who disliked. Uh, Extracting the tithe means taxes paid to church, 
give from the church of strength to poor he practices what he preaches he is a nobel fellow so far as uh, ecclesiastical characters are concerned we can say that he is positively working for the church but uh, during chaucer's time church was uh, um, corrupt enough and uh, the church men were not concerned with spiritual values and the religion what is uh, the reason for going to help others find salvation or oh, the person lives in poverty but is rich in holy thoughts and deeds uh, chaucer has in fact uh, appreciated this character what faults might this character have according to chaucer none unlike the monk the friar and partner he is the only the devout churchman then there is another character the plowman social status is the present the parson's good hearted brother the parson's good hearted brother dress wore a loose jacket smoke road a mere physical characteristics uh, jo hai wo yahan par iske personality trait se hi aap dekhenge to wo hai honest worker good and true loves god and uh, neighbors helpful to the poor pastries to the poor church uh, so far as the next character is concerned he is the miller to miller kaun hai trades class uh, trade class worker who uses equipment to make flour dress sword and buckler uh, shield at his side wore a blue hood and white coat physical characteristics mein hai to stout weighed 224 pounds big Brown hair, red beard, born on his nose. Physical uh, characteristics, के अलावा personality traits में wrestler, steel screen, a loud, bad uh, storytelling clown, plays bagpipes. So reason is there. We have uh, learnt in the book. Uh, then there is uh, still another character. He is the manspal social status. Is का क्या है? He is also trade class provides our provisions for a uh, provider of provisions for a college or for our ministry. Dress a clothing suitable for a trade class that buys supplies for elite groups. Physical uh, characteristics, his personality traits say he is that uneducated but clever, smart than those he fears. The uh, reason for going uh, on pilgrimage is sells food to monasteries. so perhaps he wants to serve himself with the salvation to yahan tak approval on the part of the writer is concerned she is a smarter than the elite group he buys food and supplies for there is no fault with him uh, then there is uh, the reeve middle class steward responsible for running the everyday affairs of a feudal manor dress long overcoat of uh, bluish gray rusty blade physical characteristics old thin close shaven legs like sticks probably frail personality traits may fear like the plague by uh, such and herdsmen those beneath him knowledgeable in his job reason for going is perhaps he seeks forgiveness for stealing from his master and creating fear in those who work for him approval probably uh, not uh, since he was a cruel and a thief he rode in the back of the cavalcade so so far as the faults are concerned he grew rich by knowing his job well and stealing from his master then there is a uh, uh, summoner he also belongs to clergy an officer who brings purse a uh, person accused of violating church law to court dress he wore a gallant on his uh, head तो यहाँ इसने गाइडेंस जो है ये हम इसके देख लें यहाँ से पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेड्स इसके बन जाएंगे वो फिजिकल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स जो है इसके वो देखिए कि हैसनेपसी डिस्कस्टिंग रेड बेबी फेस विद फर्स्ट फिल पिंपल्स नैरोइस ब्लैक स्कैबी बोस एंड थिन बियर्ड पर्सनैलिटी ट्रेड्स इज ट्रंक नेचुरस इल टेम्पर्ड स्मेल ऑफ कार्लिक एंड डोरियंस he is the worst character so far as uh, all these characters are concerned he has been badly uh, criticized and uh, bitterly criticized by the writer uh, the reason for his going on the pilgrimage may be to drink and chase women not uh, you know he belongs to church even then 
his motives uh, are not pure spiritual. Approval? No. Chaucer doesn't approve him. He is not good at his job and takes advantage of his position pretending to know Latin, but really only knows a few words. Uh, so far as his faults are concerned, he drinks too much and is a lecher. Then there is partner. He also belongs to church, clergy, partners, people, uh, people sin for a donation to the church, dress his kayak and carry a bag full of fake religious devices. Uh, no hood, but a little cap on head. Bulging eyeballs has crossed in his violet. Pilgrim medal on head, physical characteristics is can make a long, crazy yellow hair. Uh, beard less, personality traits man, greedy, fraud, shifty, gives money from blessings to himself, sneaky, untrustworthy, dishonest, he reads and uh, he read and sang sermons well. The reason for going is to make money in exchange for forgiving pilgrims for their uh, sins. The approval is no. He is a charlatan, means fake person. So far as false are concerned, he drives with the seminar who also takes advantage of his position. He cross uh, the cross on his uh, wallets and places, so he uses the church to line his pockets. Then the host, social status, trade class, the leader of the group, leader, he is the leader, sorry, the leader of the group, to dress is ka hai, wo ek, ye long coat hai, horse well hai, you know, he is, he belongs to a, a trade class, to he certainly wears good dress and he is a shrewd fellow. He makes money and quickly and abruptly. Uh, he has diverted the attention of the people after having got his money, after having fulfilled his uh, own purposes. He is least concerned with his fellows. So physical characteristics may large large striking, uh, striking in appearance, manly, bright-eyed, personality traits, loud and merry, but quick-tempered, bold, tactful. The reason for going, you know, he's a businessman. So what kind of businessman do to accompany the pilgrim on, uh, on the journey and select the one who tells the best story who will be rewarded with the free supper? Uh, then there is uh, the approval. Chaucer has approved this character. Uh, so we can say yes. So far as uh, the faults are concerned, Chaucer has not uh, considered his faults. Chaucer has uh, delineated his character as the others have been so objectively. Uh, hence, these were the characters that we uh, had read in the prologue to the Canterbury uh, Tales during our class time. And uh, now, this lecture will certainly guide you a lot. This will be helping for you so far as uh, uh, physical appearances, physical characteristics, personality traits, social statuses and uh, the reasons for going on the pilgrimage is a concern on the part of all these different characters and we will discuss all these characters uh, uh, once more when there will be a discussion on the Chaucer's art of characterization humor in the contemporary tales irony satire and uh, Chaucer's picturization of his age thank you so much thank you Allah Hafiz.